right, in this video, video number two of how to graph a line. We're going to look at slope intercept form here. Video number one, we had the exact same line except we used point plotting techniques to graph that line. We're going to graph the same line here, but it's a different technique. So graph the line given below using the slope and the y-intercept. We have y equals one-half x plus three. The equation of this line is given to us in slope-intercept form. Slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. The number in front of x, the coefficient of x, is called your slope, the letter m. The b is your y-intercept. Therefore, in this equation, the one-half is our slope, rise over run. The b, in this case, is 3, positive 3. Pay attention to your signs there. Let's start by plotting the y-intercept. On our y-axis, we will put a dot on three, which is right there. And now we want to apply this slope, the letter M. Why do they use the letter M? I don't know. But anyway, that one is positive, that two is positive. So we go up one, right two, since both of these numbers are positive. Up one, right two. And notice that I started from my y-intercept. We don't start from the origin, we start from that y-intercept. And we can continue this pattern, up one, right two, up one, right two. Take note of this fraction right here. Negative one over negative two is technically still positive one half. And the reason why I'm emphasizing this is because we can go down one and left two to get the same line. For example, I'll come back to my y-intercept. Instead of going up and to the right, I'll go down one and to the left two. And we can continue this pattern on as well. Once you have a few dots up there, go ahead and graph your line. Stick your airheads on the end and notice we have the exact same line we have back here. Two different techniques giving us the exact same graph. You want to be comfortable using all of these various techniques for graphing lines because later on down the road, point plotting for example, that can be very helpful when you're graphing things that aren't lines. Now slope intercept form only applies to lines and there's more techniques we'll look at too to help us become more comfortable with graphing lines. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.